Let's go into the bird bird sanctuary, I think. There's bird poo everywhere. Alright, we need to find some somewhere to get rid of those birds that are loitering around. The, the the walkway ladder that I need to get onto. We're gonna find somewhere to shoot them away. Oh yeah, we gotta find a a broomstick. You know how those granny shoot people away? We need to find one of those, don't we? Boxes everywhere. Nothing I can see. I can't go that way. Why not? I can't go. You don't want to go anywhere, do you? You just like making my life difficult, don't you? I can't. Oh, I hate you. Oh, let's get out of this station then. What is something birds don't like? They don't like... What don't they like? Is it true like if you feed them... Um, like raw rice they'll explode? That's mean but... <laughs> or is it saying... <laughs> like not that I would personally do, do that. <laughs> More bird poo. Oh, what's that? What's this? What's this thing? Um, blah blah. It's, it's in. This is in German. I can't read German. Guess the traf the Austro something blah blah blah. I can't even read it. What is this? What is that? Is that numbers and what's that? I need ah, a key. oh, you need a key. You need a key. Oh, yeah, so then this thing pops up, right? All right, so we'll look for a key. What's that say? In case of problems, contact the following number. How can you read this? How can you read this, Kate Walker? That looks broken. Oh great, now it's broken. Can this work here? Ooh! Hello, what's this? Oh. Uh, noisy. What is this for? I'm outside now. I see, we can't go that way. Let's go back in for a second. Um, let's keep going this way. What's here? down here. This game is huge, isn't it? Are these automatons? No, they look like people, don't they? Keep going. That's a nice... Is that a submarine? They have a submarine? That's a nice submarine you got there. 
Hello, sir. Hey there, on the boat. Guten Tag, schöne Mademoiselle. My husband say, hello, young lady. <laughs> you want to talk to us? Yes. Yes, I talk to you. My name is Kate Walker. My name is Kate Walker, and I'm, I'm a lawyer. lawyer. I'm in charge of this train. This situation is really very new to me. Lawyer, good job. Earn a lot of money. <sighs> a lot? A, a lot? No, I wouldn't go that far. But I, I can't really complain, I guess. But there's worse. Lawyer always ask a lot of money. <sighs> Can we change the subject, please? I really don't want to go down this road. <laughs> uh. um, let's ask about these things first. Hunt. You must really get to see the countryside. Do you know New York at all? I don't think so. We not understand. <laughs> I'm looking for a funny little man who was supposed to live my in my. Siberia. Can Aye. you imagine that? <laughs> Siberia. I expect you've already been there. Shivraga come to Siberia. What? Siberia. No. Too, Too cold. cold. Barge no break ice. Oh, yeah, he's got a barge, huh? Have you gone down to take a look around the station yet? It's amazing. You know, it's full of exotic birds. Me to my gear, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. We no leave boat. Husband is land sick. <laughs> land sick. Um. Um. It must be really neat to travel by river. Oh, schlick the boat. I no forget that's grund. For me, loca loca is fantastic. <laughs> And climb the road with Ustet. Okay, you guide. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, Sancho. My husband say he like his barge and he not like your train. Too noisy. If you want to travel in tin can, you stay in tin can. Uh, I think... Sure. I don't, th I don't trust that this translation, Grandma. I don't trust her. I think he actually said my locomotive was actually very noise. That's what I... wasn't very nice of her to mistranslate. Are you from Bergstadt? Yet. So no. you're like me. Birds just passing through. I'm stuck here because of my train. Kleine Puskerreisen mit uns, no? The Russian? What did you say? Train kaputt. No luck for you. They're Russian. They're not German. They're Russian. Isn't it ne ne yet? Isn't that no in Russian? You're not German. Help. I have a little problem with my train. It's kind of broken. I've absolutely got to get it out of the station. Do you think you could tow it over Ooh. to the wall with your barge? Lock closed. Barge block. But ah. if the locks were open, would it be okay to tow my train then? Por que no? More money for that work. Huh? Nah, it's possible. My husband say we help you if you give money. Oh, I need money. Right. And how much do you want? A lot of money. One day. He wants one hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty dollars? I don't have that much. I don't have any money. No money, no bar. Oh, I need hundred and fifty bucks. Let me offer bucks. you seventy-five. No, one twenty-five. One hundred. Out of the question. One hundred dollars and not a dime more. Correct. You have barge for one hundred dollars. Okay. $100. Great. Now don't move. I'll be back as quick as possible with the money. I need somebody to wire me some money, don't I? It's not very polite of you to take advantage of my predicament. We could have done favors for each other for free, out of solidarity. What kind of favors? Father, father, I lost speak not full money. Ah, speak full. Excuse me. Walker, you can't do my any favors. My husband say need money for leave. One hundred dollar, not lot for fancy lady like you. <laughs> How would you know a fancy lady like me, really? <laughs> uh, I'll leave you to it. I won't disturb you again. Dos vidanya. Okay, let's get back. Let's go out into the the rundown city and talk to these city elders or, or whatever the people at the university. Let's talk to Dumbledore. All right. Let's 
Let's go out the front door. Hello? Any? There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Why is there nobody here? What happens if I go this way? Oh. Why is there nobody here? Why is it a ghost town? Let's keep going. No. Why? I said this way. Oh. Whoa. That's cool, isn't it? Is these automatons here? What is this? What is this? Hello? Anybody here? That wants to help me? Ooh! Is that, who's that? But, and who's this first? What is this? Ah, I see the scales tipped. Ah, this thing's jammed. I need to, need to find an egg. Alright, let's get out of here. I need to find so many. I need the key, an egg, and and a broomstick. Ooh, I could fire a gun into the end. That would scare the birds, wouldn't it? Who's this shady-looking man? Is this the Hello. university? Hey, baby, Hello. you party? You sure looking mighty fine. What's Love your... those big round eyes. What the hell? Just who do you think you are? Yeah, let's talk to hey, me. Hey, he's funky. I like that in a lady. Okay, I'm hooked. Come on, Zol. I'll let you buy me that coffee. <laughs> I don't remember ever asking. Yeah, I'll kick you in the hey, balls. Hey, don't play hard to get. I know you like it big time. Listen, kid. Go back home and play with your toy cars and forget you ever saw me. Or I'll kick you in the balls. Hello. Hey, baby, you party? You sure looking mighty f- Just who do you- Hey, hey, <laughs> let- Want me to kick him in the balls? Um... Is that a saber tooth? That's a saber tooth tiger, isn't it? Let's go inside this place. What is it? Is this the university? What a douchebag this guy is. Don't you know how to talk to a lady like me? Crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this place? It's a museum. Wow. What does this say? What does that say? What is this? That's a mammoth. Oh, this is so cool. What is that? Can I break it off? Oh, Ooh. get out of there first. I'm not done looking. What's over this way? Oh, there's a man here. Let's not talk to him yet. Because he looks busy. Let's go this way first. There's a moose. There's a moose. What's that? There's a door there. There's animals. Alright, let's talk to the guy. Um. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you, sir? Sir. Sir. Hello, Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Please, just a moment. I need your yes, help. Yes, what is it? I'm not deaf, you know. <laughs> I am sorry to disturb you in your work, sir, but... This young mammoth is primigenius is barely 40,000 years old. Fantastic, wouldn't you say, miss? Okay. Uh, yes. yes. Probably. What do you mean, probably? Uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, you, you don't know, I see. What can I do for you, my dear child? Um... Kate. To tell you the truth, I don't know very much about mammoths, and I'm not here as a student. I'm a In lawyer. In fact, 
I'm a lawyer. It's all right. Nobody is perfect. All the same, <laughs> the study of the Pleistocene period is fascinating. I'm sure it is. But I'm sorry to say my current mission is totally monopolizing my time. Um, another time, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's what they all say. But anyway, let me present myself. Who are you? I am Cornelius Ponce, Mr. Emeritus Ponce. Professor and Lecturer at the University of Barockstadt. I'm proud to say that I'm head of the Department of Paleozoology at our what's university. That? I don't know what Kate that Walker, is. pleased to meet you. Yeah, I'm not shaking your hand because I don't know where it's been. Probably touching mammoths all day. Probably got mammoth disease. What's Hans? To tell you the truth, I'm looking for Mr. Hans Vorlberg. He's the sole heir of a very unusual factory. My company is in charge of negotiations for the takeover of this factory. Uh, at last word, he was living in Siberia. So, as soon as my train is ready, I'll be continuing my journey eastwards. Okay. Siberia. Ah, Siberia. But, but what was it you said again? Siberia? Said what? You mentioned a <gasps> name. What a grandpa. The person you are looking for. Hans Vorlberg? Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Do you know him? Hans Vorlberg. How could I forget him? Such an extraordinary fellow. So inventive. We shared a passion for mammoths, you know. Oh, everyone and we bonded mammoth. over this passion. Without it, I confess, I would have had little to do with an odd, ageless retard like Hans. <laughs> At the time, ageless we were both <laughs> students. Well, sort of. Put it this way. Hans had special permission to attend paleontology lectures. You see, he didn't really have the necessary qualifications. In exchange, Hans did a few odd jobs around the Don't university. Tell me I gotta say odd Your jobs. Hans Vorlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm not sure, my dear. Hans was above all questions of money and business. Just to imagine him running a factory, <laughs> perish the thought. Can you tell me a little bit more about him? He was always a mystery to me. He never said very much, and never quite seemed to grasp what you said to him. He expressed himself instead through his incredible mechanical contraptions. His inventions, I admit, have been much appreciated by the university. The few times we really did talk, it was about his strange interest for mammoths and I a, doll. a doll. Some sort of doll that obsessed him. Why? A doll, you say? Yes. He kept talking about it. One day he described it to me. A sort of children's toy. A miniature mammoth mounted by a mount. It appears he found it in a cave not far from his home. The event all sounds very dramatic. His account was slightly confused, but it awoke a great interest in me. Really? What do you mean? To my knowledge, there was only one tribe who made figurines featuring a mount, and that tribe is the Yukols. They live in the farthest reaches of Siberia, and for them, the dolls constituted a sacred object, illustrating one of their central legends. Really? How such a doll made the journey from the frozen Siberian north to a cave in the French Alps is a mystery to me. Even today, it is beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that Hans Varlberg was maybe making it up? You said yourself he didn't seem it. to have all his mental facilities and What are you talking about? No, that's we impossible. Hans couldn't invent the story like that. The doll is a sacred part of the Siberia legend. He described it to me in exact detail. Really? Siberia itself is a chimera that paleontologists of the world are very fond of pursuing. Hold on a second. Um... What did he call him? He called him... An old retard? Is that what he called him? Ugh. And stop getting a mammoth erection. Arriving in Barakstadt is an amazing experience. I've never seen such a station. Uh, you came by train? Yes. Yes. In a kind of clockwork train with a spring mechanism that winds down. Regularly. Can you help me with that? You mean you drive a train? Yeah. Young ladies of today never cease to amaze me. Excuse you. Oh, no. I'm not the engineer. The train's engineer is actually an automaton. I am sorry, all this probably sounds very strange. A clockwork train, driven by an automaton, 
I once knew a man long ago who oh, could have invented such a, a trick. It was he who designed the bandstand in the main square. Ah, to think that he was even capable of creating such a gadget. He was astounding, a true genius. But oddly, at the same time, he was also almost a child. It was as if his mental and physical evolution had definitively halted at the age of ten. Can you believe that? Yes. Uh, yes. I think I can believe that. At least I'm beginning to. This is why you don't talk to old people, because they just keep blah, 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 blaring. <laughs> bird. My train stopped in a peculiar aviary. It's very odd. A lot of bird species seem to seek harbor there. Ornithology Seek is far from being my favorite subject, but I must concede that the station is the pride of the university. It was initially intended for teaching purposes, but then birds started arriving from all around the world. <laughs> it seems that there are still rare species breeding there and flourishing. Uh, are there? Birds. Can you give me an example? Mm -hmm. I have been told about a kind of bird with peculiar habits. So let's see now. Oh, the, I hate uh, the, not the cuckoo. The Amazon cuckoo. That's right. Stuff but, here. Uh, oh, I'm so foolish. I can't remember what was so special about it. <laughs> Just that its behavior is very peculiar. The Amazon? Where's the Amazon? Uh, what is the Amazon? Amazon. I'm sorry, my dear, but one cannot learn everything in a lifetime. Specialization is the key to real knowledge. Why don't you pay a visit to our library? Right, right. Thank you very much. Okay, so I've got my game here. I bought, I bought the Siberia collection. It's got Siberia, Amazon, what this guy just said, and Siberia too. So, um, what is Amazon? Is it related to this game? Because why did they mention it? Maybe it's. Maybe it's by the same producer of this game or something. Um, mission. Please do excuse my persistence, Professor, but did Hans Varlberg ever talk about his childhood? About Valadilene and his sister, Anna? No, not that I recall. Thanks. Pity. When I think of Hans, oh. I'm always reminded of a mysterious mammoth doll he would talk about so often. A small effigy of a mammoth made of hide and mounted with its own miniature mouth. Uh, how come he was so lucky? Why <laughs> have I not seen this? Because you're stuck here looking at dead mammoths all day. Um, have I asked for help yet? What would you say about seeing Hans Varlberg again? After all, you could come with me and help me find him no no don't <laughs> young lady you are very kind <laughs> i'm far too old for such a don't invite him it's probably an old pervert money uh professor can uh, i hunch a box please how do i say this you see i didn't think i'd need a lot of money when i set out <laughs> I didn't and it bring turns any out money. i need money after all it's a delicate matter i know but i was wondering if you could help me out. I'll pat you back, don't my worry. Dear, it would be a pleasure, but you see, I barely have enough myself to Great. cover my meager expenditure on what I'm paid by the university. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend or... However, if we look at the example of Hans, it is true that our university always rewards no. people who perform some service no. for it. This is our dear rector's jurisdiction, however. Oh, crap. What's... I'll leave you in peace. Ugh. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. What is Kate Walker t gonna do? She's afraid of everything. She can't even... open. She can't even sweep the floor. Ah. No point. Kate Walker, what do you... What job do you want? Because we've got to work for a hundred bucks. Do you have a nice resume, Kate Walker? What's this? Ah! Um, nation's none. Not yet, not yet. We'll, co we'll come back here soon enough. I've got to go to the bathroom. I'm busting. I'm busting to go. 
Okay, I'm um, just hold on a second. Returns game. Where is this place? What is that? What is that? What is this? Where am I? I'm in a strange place. Whoa! Who are you? Who are you guys? Professors? Who are you? Hello? Hello? Good day to you, gentlemen. Tell me, young lady, to what do we owe this pleasure? I'm looking Please for someone. Please do be brief. We do not have very much time on our hands. As rectors of this university, we have serious matters to attend to, and our time is precious. Okay. I have heard you wish to meet the owner of the train that is currently in your station. That's me. May I know the reason for your summons? We are surprised that your train has not yet left, miss. The situation is most regrettable. Give me a hundred The rules do clearly leave, state that trains away. are meant to come and go and not remain stationary at a platform. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. <laughs> that is the rule. We agree then, dear colleagues, that what we're dealing with is deviant behavior. <laughs> this matter really is cause for concern. It's a clockwork train, yeah. you see? So it needs winding up again? Yeah. Unfortunately, there is no equipment in the station to do this. Yeah, thanks to you. A clockwork train? That's strange. How very quaint. You mean it's some sort of mechanical toy? No. You it's are a causing train. a hindrance to us, Miss. I am very hopeful that I will find what I need along the wall. Along the, the wall? wall? What? Uh, miss, that really is not a suitable place for you to go. Especially for a young lady. You see, Miss, we freely admit that every day we praise the existence of that particular edifice. Huh? We owe the integrity of our dear university and the fine education it provides to the wall. How? It protects us from harm and invasion from the unknown. <laughs> May God protect us from what is beyond those ramparts, miss. Please believe me. I don't have any choice. I must continue my journey. Uh, such a decision is a correct one since it's in line with regulations. Thus, your train will indeed be able to leave. And consequently cease to obstruct our station. Huh. You guys are a bunch of jerks. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Kate Walker. And who are you? Walker, Walker, haven't we already had a Miss Walker? Ethnology Masters, September 1953, if my memory serves me correctly. Perfectly well, my <laughs> dear colleague. But if I may be so bold, it was a Mr. Walker and not a Miss. <sighs> it was Bill Walker, sat this June 68 exams. The impudent fool turned up for the oral assessment in jeans. <sighs> Flouting strict internal regulations which explicitly state the required uniform for the occasion. Pure incitement. It was scandalous. Sadly, we have seen worse since. Young people <laughs> lack all respect of traditional values. They quite Tradition, grandpa. young lady. One must always uphold tradition. Um, Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean anything to you by chance? Ah, one of the brightest, most idealistic intellects to have graced our university. Hans Vorlberg. I remember speaking to him once. I was still a student at the time. He just stared at me, lost in thought for a while. He scarcely ever said a word. But how can one forget him? Why? Idealistic? I'll grant you that. But bright? Oh, don't go too far. He was completely incapable of passing any exams. All he ever did was to sit in on lessons, and not many of them, either. Paleontology, mainly. He had an unhealthy passion for mammoths, <laughs> which matched the state of his intellect perfectly. That is to say, prehistoric. <laughs> prehistoric? How dare you? A little far-fetched, maybe. But he did have flashes of intellectual brilliance, comprehensible only to high-minded scholars who hold flashes. no score by appearances. My dear colleague, your hasty conclusions are somewhat cavalier. My assessment is wholly accurate. The boy was a little odd. You must concur if my father, who was rector of the university at the time, had not shown great indulgence towards him. Hans Vorlberg would have never attended this establishment. Jeez. What about the bandstand, then? Is that the work of a deranged mind? Even after all these years, you are still jealous of it. <laughs> my dear colleagues, I beseech you. Let's show some decorum. We have a visitor. What do you want with Hans Vorlberg, miss? 
Uh, are you a member of his family? No, no, not no, at all. I'm funny. looking for him to clear up an inheritance matter. Is he still here? What? Here? At the university? <laughs> no, not at all. He left a long time ago. Yes, a very long Do you know time where ago. Went? The very year I was nominated to this position, in fact. Almost 50 years ago already. The poor soul moved on once he learned all he needed to know about mammoths. <laughs> ah, this establishment was never quite the same after his departure, it must be said. You mean to say it was never as bad? All that Oddball brought to this university was his misplaced fantasies! Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's try to retain the calm and level-headedness that befits our position. Um... Train. Excuse me. Miss, we find ourselves terribly put out by the presence of your train in our station and by its recurrent immobility. Indeed, the situation is very regrettable. Your huge locomotive is very cumbersome. A train should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. Okay. I got it. That idea of the station aviary is really very original. It's the pride of our university. One of the specialties taught here is zoology, you see, and more particularly, ornithology. Proper study and instruction should not be limited to books. Observation of living matter is indissociable from theoretical questions. It contains some very rare specimens that have been brought back from far away exotic countries, especially for our university, by the world's most intrepid explorers. Do you remember Alexander Valembois? No. And his peculiar bird? No. Absolutely. His gift produced some very embarrassing long-term consequences. Poop A poison chalice, indeed. It must be said, the situation could have been much worse, however. Oh, yes, it could have been terribly problematic. <sighs> um... Help. Can you possibly help me out here? Miss, your insistence is almost verging on indecency. What? We cannot constantly be at your disposal. We have many other requests to attend to. Gee. If you don't mind, could you not disturb us all the time? <laughs> Thank you. That's so mean. You see, I didn't actually intend to stop here, but the springs of my train gave up, you see? Yeah. No, not really. You mean to say you're not a student? No. You have arrived a little late in the term, miss. Enrollment for this year has already terminated. But as rectors of this university, and therefore representatives of its highest authority, we could bend the rules a little, if you what? like. No. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm a lawyer from New York. Or rather, Valadilen, more precisely. My client wants to buy out an old mechanical toy factory but its heir isn't actually dead, and is living somewhere in Siberia. I've got to get to him to sign the sales contract. You see? Uh, not really. This is a most peculiar It's not tale. a story. A kerfuffle of the <laughs> highest order. <laughs> we have an excellent law school, if you should ever change your mind. I am a lawyer already. What's your problem? Some sailors have agreed to tow the train. But I don't have enough money to pay them. I was wondering if you could help me out. For a while. I could work for the money. Uh, please wait, miss. We have certain confibulations to attend to. That is right. We must confibulate between ourselves. A collegiate decision must be taken. I hope that we are not indisposing you in any way. <laughs> <clears throat> Why not? If it helps us get rid of that train. My word, that is a fine idea. What do you have in mind, gentlemen? Hmm. When you arrived here, you must have noticed a splendid bandstand which honors the main university courtyard. I think so. A unique oh. piece of mechanical craftsmanship which no longer works, alas. Ah. Why, yes, we have very moving memories of its melodies. We're prepared to offer you a financial reward if you can set it working again. Okay. With pleasure. What do I have to do? 
Unfortunately, my dear, time and rust have taken their toll on this university, and our automatons no longer have a spring in their step. <laughs> you are going to have to be resourceful. Uh. To tell you the truth, there are a number of complex mechanisms here in Barakstadt, and it would appear that we have unfortunately lost their operating instructions. Great. Your train, however, is an extremely ingenious invention, so you should be no stranger to complex mechanisms, should you? Uh, we are therefore counting on your ingenuity, miss. Okay. I hope that I can show myself worthy of your faith in me, gentlemen. Well, my dear colleagues, one more university matter nicely tied up. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's here. Get we out are of busy chat chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Jerks. Um, should we go upstairs? Or should we go to the library first? Let's go to the library first. Um, is this the library? I'm probably missing a lot of stuff. Ooh, what a library. This is huge. Oh, there's somebody there. This, is that a... These, how come you don't want to talk to any of these people? Can I look at the books? Let's talk to him, I guess. What's he got to say? Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I disturb you a second? No. What? You could be a little bit nicer about it. Keep quiet. In case you haven't noticed, we're somewhere that requires silence and tranquility. <sighs> Hello? Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I disturb you? No. You can keep... <laughs> Okay. That was funny. What? Uh, I'm guessing I'm not gonna get a lot of help from here. Can I get a book? What's this way? I'm hungry. <laughs> Where am I going? Ooh. Remember, remember that last thing we didn't click on the books? Ah! Let's <laughs> get the crap out of me. Draw illustrated dictionary of plants and mushrooms. Okay. I'll try and take it later. We'll read it later. What's that way? Oh, can I go this way? What's over here? And there's nothing there. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Let's just keep going and see how far we can get before they start getting annoying. Is that blocked? Can we go up here? That area is blocked, isn't it? Oh, they seem to quieten down a little bit. What is this place? Oh, there's somebody. <laughs> is that the janitor and he's sleeping?
What is this? It's like a theater kind of place. Oh, there's a projector there. There's a projector there. No, no, no. Go back up. You can't press it. I can talk to him, right? Right? Hello, sir? No, I couldn't talk to him? What? Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what's this way? This place is huge, isn't it? Yeah. It's freaking huge. No point. It's locked. Ugh. I might be stuck, actually. Check it all. Is that something there? What is here? Why is that light on? Um. Huh. Backstage? Can we go backstage? Let's try and go backstage. Can't find anything here. Um. Keep going downstairs. Hello? Who's this? Hello? So, you got him then, this air? No. Ah, it's you, Mr. Marson. Good day, and, and how are you, sir? I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business is over and the sales contract is signed. Where the hell are you? I don't know. I'm in Barakstadt. Yeah. What? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent <laughs> university town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here uh, several years ago. Doing my job. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. Jeez. Well. I hear what you're saying, sir. But I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? I'm not exactly sure yet. Doesn't sound like you know too much, Kate. You're a I jerk. just need a bit of time, Mr. Marson. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. Screw you. Screw you. I'm opening up my own firm called Walker and the Walker Associates. And you're not invited to my party, my birthday party. How am I going to find something in this place? Let's look at it. Why is this light not on? Why is that light on? Hmm. Oh, hello. That's <laughs> that was so hard to see. What's that? Just, 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 um, just steal his thing. So, I've just finished reading this. It's, and if I decide to edit it out, what I found was this cuckoo bird. Doesn't this cuckoo bot bird look familiar to the ones that you saw that were blocking my path in the train station? Walk to go up the ladder, right? This is the exact same bird. And it says two things. First, it likes grapes. It likes this kind of grape. Secondly, um, it can get distracted by another bird's nest, and also something about it takes their eggs, takes their eggs, and eats it later. So I was thinking maybe the eggs could be used on that construct on that um auto automaton thing that I needed to do to get the hundred bucks, or. I or I could like first distract them by finding a nest. So, I'm, so right now what I've learnt is, one I've got to either find a nest, the grape. They said the grape is at the botany collection, 
or what was the third thing again? Again, and this and the egg and the egg for the automaton, automaton. Sorry, thing. Okay, okay. Um, I read this mushroom guide before, and it said something about blah blah blah. If you eat it, time will slow, or you see something and you can shoot something better. So that's basically what it said. Don't didn't really learn much from that. Hello. You're new. Who are you? Hello. Shh! Don't talk so loud. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I was wondering if you could help me. Can't you see I'm very busy? What are you looking for? <sighs> None of your business. Now, if you don't mind, I am trying to concentrate. I haven't got a lot of time left <coughs> before Professor Pons's next tutorial. Professor Pons, you say? Would you mind working elsewhere, please? Hmm. That's a clue. Let's talk to Professor Pons. Professor Pons, I need your help. Hello, sir. I need your help. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. What is it you want to know, miss? Um... Ooh, hello. Savagrin... If I were to say, Forest Sauvignon to you, Ooh. what would you say? Oh, uh, let's see. Sauvignon... Sauvignon? I would say it's some kind of tropical shrub, tropical don't you think? Shrub. We are talking about the same plant then. It is a very rare shrub with small juicy fruits. Yeah. I found a book about the Amazon, and it says that there are even Sauvignon plants growing right here in yeah, Barakstadt. Where, where, where would they be, sir? You wouldn't know where, would you? Mm, Amazon Sauvignon plants here? No. No, what? I don't think the there are any. section. Highly implausible, but... Uh, you should ask the station master. Station he is master. keeper of the greenhouse. Ooh, oh, okay. Birthday, so Thank you. He could tell you more than Thank me. you. Oh, very thanks helpful. very much. Very helpful. You're very helpful, sir. Hello. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Um... Money? The sailors on the barge reckon they could help me tow my train out of here, but they're asking for money. You couldn't possibly help me out with a few dollars, could you? I would be very grateful. Uh, miss, really, uh, I'm surprised at you. <laughs> asking for money from a total stranger, I mean, I'm... Oh. <sighs> right. I need cash. I need it to get my train out of your station, because my train is getting in your way, disturbing your birds, and upsetting your bosses. <sighs> Look, lady, I'm only a station master. I got my problems, and you got yours. Where might I find some forest Sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for what? sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you <sighs> seem pretty well informed yeah. about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Nice catch. Oh, I'm... Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, don't go. You know what? I don't think he was being yeah. totally straight with me. I know. What's his problem? Hmm, should we follow him? Let's follow him. I wonder where he went to.